All right, trombone day number four. Let's get into it. I'm just going to be doing our normal warm-ups today, and I'm going to be working on uh, the same thing I've been working on with all the other instruments this week. We're going to do our basic, typical warm-ups with a new scale now, E-flat major. E-flat concert major. Um, that is, for us, three flats. B-flat, E-flat, and A-flat. Okay, so lots of third positions in this scale. I'm going to start with the long tones. I'm going to start them on E flat and I'm going to roll down from there. Here we go. Basic E flat long tones. I'm gonna do again long tones. I'm gonna do them at a higher octave now because I need to uh, pump up my upper octave a little bit. It's getting, it was getting a little weak. So here you go, top octave. into our scales. First thing I'm going to do is B flat scale just to remember it and then I'm going to do the F scale and then I will do my E flat scale. Okay so B flat scale, let's do both octaves, why not? spend a whole lot of time on that. I've memorized my scale. Uh, I just need to get my chops back. Let's try that one more time. From the bottom. Good lord. Mm -mm. Unacceptable. Try it again. It's embarrassing. Do it again. I'll probably be able to get it after I warm up a little bit more. as good as I like it, but 
It'll get better as I warm up. Here we go. F major. <laughs> major scale you can do the bottom octave actually you probably can't because you don't have enough horn to do the bottom octave you don't have enough positions to make that happen so we're gonna do the top octave E flat to high E flat <laughs> major scale. So, uh, is that? Oh, my thingies. I didn't even know that was possible. Part of my trombone's falling off. Okay. E flat major scale. All good. Uh, I'll play a low one for you, but you probably won't be able to do it because you don't have enough trombone. You need a trigger to get the low E flat. Or you need to be able to pedal your stuff, but um, and there we are. E flat major scale, three flats, E to E. Here we go. And thirds, E flat and thirds. chromatic scale. Like I've said before, my warm-ups and typically all my time on trombone will be faster because I'm more experienced at it. But I'll crank in some some uh, baritone videos today and maybe a tuba as well. Who knows? Here we go, trombone. Chromatic scale starting from E flat going down to E flat. <laughs> Slurs, the final thing we'll do. Lip slurs. Slurs. Uh, I only took about 10 minutes. 
let's do some, let's add some stuff to that, just for fun. Let's do some fast tonguing. We'll do it on a whole scale. And we'll do it on the uh, E flat scale. these days I'm going to put together videos of myself playing all the parts of one piece of real concert music and um, I'm gonna add them all together and we're gonna have a not a collaboration video a uh, I don't know what's called I lost I lost the word but we're gonna have video of a bunch of videos of me playing each part and uh, I would love for you guys to send me videos of you playing these parts I'll put the music on Google Classroom it should already be on there for you for this video um, but I'd love for you guys to send me videos of you playing the parts so that I can put them in with my video and if they're better than me they will replace mine uh, and if they're as good or not as good as mine they will be alongside mine I'll put you next to mine it'll sound like a real concert band with lots of different people playing uh, and that'll be nice to see I think it'll be fun for me to do it'll be fun for you to do so follow along while I'm playing the Tempest and um, keep my tempo and do what I am doing and then send a video to me of you playing it and I'll put you in the video uh, hopefully that'll come out in the next two or three weeks but uh, this is The Tempest by Robert W. Smith uh, I'm fairly certain I can sight read this straight through on the trombone but uh, I will I'll talk a little bit about what's going on in each specific part so that we can get a good video out of this I'm trying not to shaft my uh, trombone player as much just because I'm more skilled at the trombone. So let's start right at the top. We've got about eight measures of whole notes and half notes. Um, a mezzo forte, but we can play those a little bit louder because we're we're low brass, so we can play a little bit bigger. Uh, the biggest thing here that you don't know, check your notes out. We got low G flat or low G's that's in fourth position. We got low A naturals that's in second position. Um, and we've got an F sharp whole note. In measure eight, F sharp is in fifth position. It's the same lip shape and uh, I guess highness as G. It's just in fifth position, so just kick that right out. Now, hopefully, you'll see me do it. And uh, we're gonna play just one through nine, one through eight. Here we go. At tempo, 120. It goes a little faster in the actual recording, but I'm taking it 120 right now. Stuff in my horn. Let's try again. Two, three. So check that crescendo. Last two measures. G F sharp and gets big, right? Lean really, lean into that. That's the best thing for a trombone. Those big crescendos. They're a lot of fun. I'm going to try that one more time. This time I'm going to go straight in to 9, play all the way to 18. Lots of G's in this one. Lots of fourth position G's. G's and F sharps. Be ready for it. That's pretty much most of the song. One, two, ready, go. <laughs> Bum, bum, bum. 
So just quarter notes accented. Accent means put a little bit more heat on the note, a little more, uh, more stank on it. The only tough rhythm here is measure 10 and measure 14. One, two, and three, four. It's all G. Once you can get those eighth notes, it's really rather simple. Crescendo into the G, F sharp, G at the end. Ba -da -da. It's pretty cool. Um, and then 36, same thing. Okay, let's do 36, same thing. That gets us into 45. Okay, that's half the song right there, guys. Real simple. Uh, you have the easiest, <laughs> I think one of the easiest songs here because it's just G. So I expect a lot of trombone and baritone videos. You can send it to me. G if you're a baritone. Okay, 45. We've got a weird rhythm here. One of the hardest parts of the song is this rhythm. It's not really that hard. All we're doing is playing on one and four of each measure. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, one. It's real simple once you get that beat in there. It looks more intimidating than it is. One, rest, rest, four and one, rest, rest, four and one, rest, rest, four and one, three, four, one. Right? It's all in it's all in fourth position. Uh one and two if you're a baritone. And I'll I'll do a baritone video later, doing the same thing. Probably add it. No, I'll do a separate baritone video. Here we go, forty five. We'll play through it at tempo. So you can hear how it goes. One, two, three, go. Things got a little funky there at the end. Last four measures, we've got just a little bit of melody. Uh, it's really cool. Finally get melody. G, A, B, C, B, A, G. Right? Uh, easy rhythm. The hardest thing about that is playing the high note, the high C. If you can't quite hit that, take a little time, put some air into the horn, and uh, you'll crank that C out. It's in third position. Okay? That's the, the line above the staff, the highest note in the song. Well, the highest note so far in the song. There's D later. Um, but it's really not too bad. We've got... And then you're right back into 63, which is the same thing as 36. Let's do it. One, two, three. And then we're at 69, which we're just flying back between D and E flat. Accent the E flat, but it's all slurred. Jaws, right? Real easy. Let's hear it. 71. We want to write this one, and I'll write it in, in my part with my non-existent pencil. Yeah, there it is. Right, and so the rhythm here at 73, okay? Write it in. Be with me here. Pause the video and come back if you don't have your paper out, because this is super helpful. We have beat on one, a beat on four, a beat on three, and then a beat on one. Some 73 to 75. And it's a hard, hard rhythm to hit, but I'll turn the metronome on so I can clap it for you. 
we've got one rest, rest, four rest, rest, three rest, one. Or if you're counting out, one, two, three, four, two, ah. One, two, I messed it up. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one. Okay, one more time. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one. Okay? And then we just get to the end, which is not too hard, and we'll go over that in a second. But let's start at measure 71, and we'll get into this bit at 73. Now, we've got a high D and a low D. Pick one. doesn't matter. If you can hit the high D, that's in first position. Go for it. But if you can't, D normal is in fourth position. Good luck. One, two, three. And that's it. It's really not too difficult. Just gotta find those beats. The last four measures are not as hard as they look. We got the same thing we had earlier. G G G G G. Rest rest. G A flat, which is in third position. A flat, and then another F sharp in fifth position, and then G. Okay, it's pretty cool, but it's notes that we are not familiar with. So uh, make sure you look those up. Write down these slide positions: three and uh, F sharp is fifth. Right. Let's start at seventy-six and finish this tune out. One, two, three. That's it. Okay, it's a whole tune. Uh, it's really pretty simple for the baritone and trombone. Uh, you have the same part, and uh, I don't know why it's so easy. There's no reason. The other ones are a little harder, but we can tear it up. Okay, practice it. Put a video on, and I'll uh, I'll give you some help if you didn't quite nail something. But even take it in sections, guys. It's it's very very doable for you. I'm gonna start from the top. Play the whole thing. You can listen or you can play along. Sixty-nine. Two. <laughs> 
Okay, real simple. Uh, probably that, I mean, obviously it's the easiest I've had this week, but if you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, it's definitely something you can do. I, all of my trombone players currently can do it. I, even my sixth graders who haven't had a whole lot of time, I guarantee you guys can do it. Uh, so put some work in, watch the video. Uh, I should be telling you this at the end, I should, tell you, should tell you this at the beginning. But put some work in and do it, guys. It is worth it. You will get better and will be able to play harder and more fun music. Uh, keep pushing it, guys. Keep working. I will see you next week for trombone number five. We will probably... Uh, I'll probably finish this one off and then move on to something else because I'm already basically done with this one. Um, if you have any questions, give me an email. Otherwise, I will see you next week. Have a good week.